What's up, turn one? I am coming over to tell you something because uh, the Americans failed a ton of rolls. Um, two, two or three failed command rolls, but fortunately the CO was able to uh, get some guys on. So the mortars got up here. A um, little bit of unfortunate positioning for their guy though over here. I'll tell you about that in just a minute. The scout got up here, so he's going to be unable to do anything in that next turn. Um, he's going to need to get up there. I should have brought him around over here. But um, he can see the guy on the top of the building there. Um, uh, basically, I'm sending the American troops down here. I'm going to put one of these in here just to, to keep those guys honest. Two of the squads are going to go over here and take that, we hope. And the mortars will be able to fire smoke on them and bombard them the next turn. The only thing the Germans could really do because of range and all that is their forward observer for their mortars was able to see this guy. As you can see over linear terrain and you can see into this from a higher level. So he had to roll five dice for distance and deviation. It only went this far in centimeters. Um, the only thing it hit was the uh, commander, because I put the commander up here to go up here to spot, and to spot that actually. So that's going to deter me from being able to shoot some, some mortar battery fire on that building. So I'm using the rule in the Blitz VK uh, version 4, where you put, you put a new commander within command radius of 20 centimeters within that range. And then he has to pass a roll, so I, it really works out, I actually put him up here, but he has to pass a command roll, and then on turn three he'll be able to do something. So the CO, who's up here, could command the artillery, and I'm going to move this guy over, because the whole point was to be hidden, and I didn't catch that. So that's the only thing that happened in turn one, but it's fine. Bell command rolls. I'm going to have to consider using these, if I use the 15 millimeter, if I use the Flames of War bases, I'm going to have to consider the movement rates. Because 10 centimeters is the movement rate, which is here. So that's not bad. But when you got three or four stands in a platoon, it starts to get a little crazy. And it doesn't take long. I mean, I'll use the, for command radius, I'll use the edge of the base, which you always use anyway. So that's pretty far. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so far, so good. Uh, so let's move on to turn two of 12 turns. See ya.